Good morning, ladies and germs. You've tuned in to a lap it up. It's on the road. With, on the road with the wolf. I am your host, Sir Drink Salon. And uh, yeah. Hi. How you doing? You doing okay? Gonna take a moment. Just kind of. You know what I mean? Just to breathe in and breathe out. Sometimes you need that, you know? Alright, done with the show. Shasta Tiki Punch. Yeah, uh, caffeine free. 150 calories, 30, uh, 35 milligrams of sodium, 39 grams total carbs. Um, I like fruit punch. I'm wondering what makes a tiki punch. Like, is it just another way of saying fruit punch? That reminds me of a Hawaiian punch. Not as much necessarily punch. It's really sweet. There's a there's a little bit of punch in there. I guess that's what it is. It's a Hawaiian punch kind of thing. Oh, I don't remember Any of the the brights. Must have knocked them up when I drove off. But um anyway. Alright. It's oh man. I don't know. I have I have a lot of the moments in the morning where I'm just sleepy. Um like I get up. And I'm like, okay, look, these are the things that I've got to do. First things you do in the morning. Make sure you get on the road first. Ow! So, get up. Things you got to do. For those of for those of us who are. Uh, Undressed in a state of undress in the morning. The things we have to do are normally underwear and socks, or socks and underwear. And then it's a shirt for me. And then it's pants and shoes. Um, so normally I've got all my stuff. Either already in the pants or set out on the table to put in the pants once I put them on. Really, the shoes are like the last thing, and sometimes I don't put them on until right before I leave. Um, I usually will bring them into the bedroom, set them down, uh, kind of taking them off in the living room, and uh, yeah, I just kind of try to. I'm, I'm, I'm try, I try to. I'll usually just. Read a little bit on my phone, TikToks, whatever. It does have a it's like a sweetness. This is weird. It's like a young sweet. Like this is kind of like Hawaiian punch. A kitty Hawaiian punch. You know, it, it tastes. It makes me, it kind of makes me giggle, you know, it's just this, it's a very relaxed, uh, but it's playful, if that makes any sense. Um, I like this. This is pretty, pretty good. Tiki punch. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? 
Yeah, like getting your socks and shoes on. Shoes are usually one of the more important things, like first thing in the morning. Like, but they're like the last thing before you end up getting dressed. You know, because that's kind of important. You know, uh, I like this guy is so far up my ass. It's 85 miles an hour on this road. He is like right on my ass. There's no side. This is not. It's not what that's for. I mean, asshole just passed me. There's no side. And like, there's there's no lane. There's a turning lane. But there's no center lane. I mean, like, there's no road for the center. It's literally. The center, the center lane is for turning right and left. I don't, I don't understand what the necessity for that was. Part of me want. See now, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna get distracted. I was already distracted. The thing is, is that he's still right in front of me. All he did was get in front of me. There are three or four cars that were in front of me, just a little bit further ahead, and now he's stuck behind them. He is whipping around people. I understand, okay. I understand the concept of being late, but like now you are in traffic. I hope it's a medical emergency. It's not, it's not a medical emergency. He doesn't have his hazards on. <laughs> I'm just so excited. Uh, my, my brain is... I'm sorry. I'm, I've gotten distracted. Look at this asshole. This guy is a jackass. Odd. I, I don't know why I'm continuing to fall. Like... I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm in traffic. I mean, I mean I'm, 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 I'm cool. I, I don't have any issues. I'm good. He, he's gone. He is... Oh, he's not too far gone. He still has to attend. I don't know what's, what's up with this guy. Man, my, my attention is so good. Okay, so, anyway... The whole idea is like getting up and getting getting refreshed in the morning and getting woke up. I'm really not as much like I, I set up a glass, uh, one of those uh, blender cups actually. Um, I like like I like them; they're nice, um, especially if you have like a powdered drink or whatever. It's just kind of I don't know. It's it's nice to have one of those. Um, I have. Um, uh, usually I actually just have water and ice in it, um, but it's, I set it down next to my uh, next to my bed, and I just I'd forgotten about it. First thing in the morning, just had a nice glass of water, you know, um, and it was cool. It wasn't cold. Um, <sighs> no, I said melted all night, so. But I'll, I'll usually drink that. Um, sometimes I wake up. Throat's dry, got a snore, and then other times, not a big deal. I'll wake up, I'm good. You know, no big deal. <laughs> Try to survive the day. Um, um, man, that guy's that, that, that guy just pisses me off. I just so dangerous to drive like that 
first thing in the morning with a bunch of people who are still waking up. That's what I'm trying to describe. It's just this whole the process of getting up in the morning. And this guy is getting up and he is just whipping around people in his car. And I'm just like, dude, it just takes one person to like slam on their brakes and boom, you rear-ended him. You know? Uh, I don't know. I... I'm, I try to be fully awake in the mornings, and usually the mornings aren't much of a problem for me because I'm awake, I'm doing my thing. And, uh, my guess, this is just my guess, is that he's a student. That's, that's my thought, is that he's a student and he's late for class, which is okay. I mean, I get, I get it, especially with some professors, they can be a bit, um, like you miss one class, you might as well just not come in anymore. Uh, but he could be an intern too, he did look a little older, um, but he could have been just, anyway, my brain is just totally on this guy that's just like, deliberately just breaking the fucking law but like there's gotta be a reason you know I mean you gotta you're justifying it in your head to do this stuff you know I mean you're not just sitting here going eh, motherfucker, dude. okay I guess you can be that kind of person it's like fuck it I'll do whatever the fuck I want but I don't know I don't my, just my head is my brain my brain case is just kind of like going what could possibly no what do you pull that right in front of me <sighs> dangerous warnings are dangerous tinky punch maybe that's what it is I drank this because I, I knew there was going to be violence today in my head I was I was like fuck this I don't, I don't know. Oh, I can't wait to get to work. <laughs> but, you, know, you, get, you get up in the morning, the, the, you, you let the dog out, or, you know, walk the dog. Usually I let him out on the lead line, let him bark and sit and chill and kind of enjoy the atmosphere. And, uh, You know, and, and the cats will usually see that time as time to cuddle with daddy. And either that or I'm watching videos or something. So we all have our own little wake-ups. Like, some people, it's it's straight to the coffee. Like, they wake up, they start the coffee pot, and then they do the <coughs> getting dressed, um, the makeup. Like, okay, when I get up, I obviously got to brush the hair find the hair tie, you know, that kind of thing. I don't understand. I understand nothing. Nothing, no how. Nobody. If I understood people, I could make bank. <laughs> right. Anyway. Ugh. Not bad. Not bad at all. But yeah, it's just the, uh, you gotta get up and do the job. Get up and do the thing. Say good morning to everybody and all that. And, uh, it's nice. I like a nice, relaxed morning. And then my blood pressure goes up when somebody zips around me illegally and whips through traffic like they're insane man <laughs> I hope he got to where he was supposed to be going without anybody getting hurt um I don't I wish there was a way of getting into his head and being like this is not what you do 
then again, he might already know this. And he's in a hurry for, he could be going, he could have gone, been going to the hospital. You know, uh, somebody could be in the hospital. You know, the hazard lights aren't on, but some people don't know what they're supposed to do. And he's just doing <sighs> hazardous driving to get where he needs to go. And that's kind of scary. But. <clears throat> so Tiki Punch, right? Not bad. I, I'm really, I really like the shots of Tiki Punch. It's a very good flavor. Very sweet, though. Very sweet. But definitely a, a Hawaiian-type punch. I get the tiki part. Shasta's version. It's good. It is really good. Um, I give it a 4 and an 8. Definitely good. I would drink it again. Uh, so, anyway. Hope you all are waiting now. And you're heading to your prospective workplaces if you're watching this in the morning. If you're watching this in the evening, hopefully you're getting home, relaxing, trying to unwind from the day. Um, sorry, I'm cleaning my eyeballs around you. But, um, yeah. If you like the videos I do, subscribe. Um, there's a subscription button down here somewhere. There's a bell for notifications whenever I put this... When I put up another lap it up, you'll get notified and you can enjoy it. Um, there might be some other content in the near future, different uh, videos, other things I can do. But um, yeah, anyway, as always, I am Sir Drinks Lot, and you've tuned into a lap it up. And yeah, <laughs> I'm wishing you health, wealth, and love. That guy, too. With enough uh, time and gusto to enjoy it all. Down to the last drop.